So people got my fucking naked pictures from you, and now the whole world knows that you fucking crashed your goddamn car. And I shouldn't even fucking know that kind of information, but I do. So go fuck yourself, S-Jam. I don't know if they give him a DUI test. Apparently not, because you think if they would have given him one that he would meet, he would be in motherfucking jail. He's a fucking piece of shit. No, tell the truth. Tell that you're a motherfucking drunk. Probably driving to Wendy's or whatever. Smashed into a pole. Thank God you smashed into it and not a fucking innocent person. But how you got away with it? Incompetence. Incompetence. Can we say incompetence? Cheers. Cheers to that. Don't go out at them. Actually, it's um, naked and laughing that I'm having issues with now. And I'm actually scratching my head as to why... This is blowing up as bad as what it is. So she went on stream last night, pretty pissed drunk. Cheers. Cheers to that. For about four and a half hours. It took her about four and a half hours just to say a little bit of tea on me. Um, I'm going to start from the beginning. Yeah, Naked and Laughing. This girl named Naked and Laughing, her name's Jessica. She messaged me in June after the Foodie Beauty shit, and she was being supportive of, you know, me. Um, and that she was sorry that she didn't tell me to fool of me and shit like that. And then she had ended up sending me nudes. Now, I believe she had sent me nudes. Now, she's claiming I, I'm saying that she only sent me nudes and never said anything. That's not what happened. What happened was she sent, what I remember happening is she sent two nudes and then she had a messages, messages following that. Now, she's claiming that's not true. She's saying if she deleted pictures from the conversation, it would, it would say deleted but I don't think with pictures that it does. Maybe it does. Either way, she ended up eating those pictures like pretty soon after. I never saved them or anything. She's accusing me of sending them to people. I never did. Um, so yeah, once in a while I've been saying, um, oh yeah, Jessica or this girl sent me nudes that I didn't, unsolicited nudes and I wasn't sending her any back and she got pissed off. Basically, what happened after that, this is going to be a hell of a lot more clear than what her video was. My God. It was fucking torture going through four hours of that bullshit. Basically, she was coming in my chat, and then she was going live. She had no following at that point. I think she had, like, 40 subscribers. I'm not going to ignore it, because she's going to post the fucking screenshots today. And then everyone's going to get my ass. So I want to just get this over with. And say my side. And then people can say what, think what they want. I know what they're going to think. And honestly, the way it looks, it looks that way. But it's not. So this is just the beginning. It's not in the fucking tea. Where's it going? So yeah, we were talking back and forth. with We were sending cat videos to each other and shit. And then eventually I got pissed off at her. Because, well, that's going too far. Um, yeah, these are grown fucking adults, okay? Older than me. Um, that are doing this shit to me. And anyways, we were talking back and forth with cat stuff. And then one time, she was getting mad at me because I wasn't coming in her live. And I wasn't talking to her on Facebook. And I said, I'm too busy with my own shit on YouTube. She claimed I said, I'm too busy with the drama. Maybe that's what I said. I don't care. Honestly, she was just like talking to a fucking board. I really didn't have much interest in her. She seemed like an okay girl. Definitely nothing, you know... Someone that probably has mental issues. I'm not saying I don't. Um, but yeah, we bonded over the cat thing for a bit. And then, yeah, she kept repeatedly getting mad at me on Facebook for not messaging her, not coming in her lives. And she claims, and I said, okay, come in my live and then we'll, we'll talk. I'll have a talk with you. She said I'd never acknowledged her in my chats. And so she never came in. She's claiming because I did, she didn't come in my chat that I got mad at her and then I started shit with her. That's not true. Um, that was when I was kind of done with her, but then she was one time out of the blue. She's asking me for money. She asked me for $50, I think. Um, and she claimed her eBay store wasn't doing good. And, um, she had to pay her minimum on her credit card bill. And, um, it was a whole sob story. 
about it. Um, at the time, I thought she was some single girl trying to raise cats, you know, just, you know, she said stuff about, like, people not loving her and caring about her, and she puts love into people, and they don't, you know, reciprocate, and I felt bad for her, honestly. Um, she didn't seem like a terrible person, but there's definitely some emotional things going on. I'm not here to try to drag her, even though I fucking probably should at the shit she's just said. Yeah, she, and I'm like, I'll see. And she said, oh, I, t I said I'll um, let her know once I get, I'll give her the money when I get paid. I wasn't fucking working. I didn't work up until, like, October. This would have been in, like, June, July, August sometime. Probably July or August. I'll have to look at my PayPal. Um, she, I thought she said 10 cats. She's claiming she has six, so don't go for the 10. So I was like, okay, I'll see. And then, no, worse than that, she persistently was bugging me for like days after that, asking about the money, the money, the money that she needed for her credit card. Well, apparently she, I ended up giving it to her. It was like $75 Canadian or something. I don't remember. It was, it was way, it was more Canadian. It was more Canadian than American for 50 bucks or whatever. I gave her 60 bucks or something. So now she's claiming she had figured out her credit card and that she bought sushi with it and that the only reason she was talking to me was because she saw how much money I gave to Foodie Beauty so she was trying to get some money out of me. That's what she's saying now. Honestly, I think she wanted me maybe to date me. She wanted to maybe do stuff with me. She maybe wanted me to send pictures to her that I didn't do. This was the first girl, this was like when I first came back in June, I had these like a few girls that randomly sent me their nudes. I didn't ask for them. Nothing. The video goes on and fucking on and on. And about half hour, hour and a half through, she exposes some conversation I had with Jacqueline. Um, there was a night, it was in November, where I crashed my car, my SUV. I had told you guys I sold it. Technically, I sold it to the insurance company. But I had crashed it. Now, there's fucking, in the conversation, I had told Jacqueline I had, was drunk. I wasn't actually drunk at the time. I was scared that alcohol would be in my system as I had drinking earlier in the day. Um, I had drinking early, like earlier in the day and I fell asleep and I woke up and I ended up going out and I was talking on the phone with Jacqueline and I was either looking at my phone or the radio and I hit the dirt and I went, it pulled me in the ditch and I went through a pole. I was freaking out because I've had, you know, issues with, uh, not issues, but I, I get scared as fuck around cops. So I automatically assumed that I was getting arrested, a criminal charge for something. I didn't know why. I wasn't drunk, and I'm going to explain the whole thing. So, yeah, I put it through a pole. It was a bad accident. The cops were there. There was two cops there. Three or four paramedics in the ambulance with me. Firefighters. Yes, Jacqueline sent them to her, apparently. I'm just finding out about it. Um, I did originally tell Jacqueline that I, had been, I was drunk, that I was drinking, that I was going to jail. I was freaking out. I thought I was. I got blood tests done. I didn't have alcohol in my blood. I had freaked out, thought I did. I'd been arrested before. It was just anxiety. I freaked out. I texted my mom even and said, I'm getting, I'm going to jail. When in reality, I didn't do anything like that. Um, I was, I did get charged with distracted driving. It's been through court. She's claiming police incompetence. She's threatening to call the police department and tell them that I was admitted to being drunk, which at the time I was scared that I was not drunk, but it was in my system enough. Cause I mean, in Ontario, you can't have even. So I was worried it was still in my system from earlier in the day. Luckily it wasn't. Make that fucking clear. Two police officers, four paramedics, firefighters, not sure how many were there. There was bystanders that helped me out of the vehicle as well. They said nothing of the sort. Um, I kind of had an anxiety attack and freaked out. I was in the hospital. None of the nurses said anything about me being fucking impaired. There was, the cop then came back talk to me no they didn't test me he didn't they didn't see a need to obviously there was no i can show you the fucking if you're gonna do that fucking shit accusing me of what i wasn't then i'm just gonna block you because it's stupid i'm telling you what the fuck it is i have the police report there was no breathalyzer there was nothing there was no reason to believe i was intoxicated i went in i got a ct scan i got fucking blood work done there was no alcohol in my blood and that was only a couple hours, that was about a couple hours after. The cop came and saw me. Two hours later said, we're going to charge you with um, distracted driving. Because I told them what happened and I was distracted and went off the road. Honestly, shut up. I'm not going to entertain it. I'm not entertaining it anymore. I'm not. I did tell Jacqueline that I was drunk. But yeah, still, I drank earlier in the day. 
I slept, but then I went out. I was distracted. I let myself get distracted. Yeah, you're fucking... Go fuck yourself. She says I'm a woman hater and I'm in the closet gay. I'm not fucking gay. I said in the past that I would be open to being bi. I never said I would fucking do a dude. I said I'm open to it. If I met a dude and it seemed right, I would fucking do it. Whatever. Doesn't mean I'm fucking in the closet. Like... So, thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.